Hi, and welcome to this video. Deleting documents is an inevitable part of creating content. Often it is harmless and it helps with managing clutter that piles up over time, but it can also be very frustrating and harmful if wrong content is deleted. In this video, I will show you how to safely delete the Confluence page and also how to restore it in case it is deleted by mistake. After watching the video, you will have a full understanding of how Confluence handles page deletion and you will know how to delete and restore, restore the pages yourself. Enjoy the video. Deleting a page in Confluence is quite simple. However, it is also an action that can be irreversible and it can result in the permanent loss of information. Therefore, it should not be taken lightly and the full context of deletion should be understood. So let's walk through what happens to a page when it is deleted. When the delete command is issued on a page, the page will be moved to the current spaces trash. It will not be actually deleted. However, it will not be visible and all the links to the page will stop working. A deleted page can be restored by the administrator of the space that the page belongs to. But after Spaces Trash is purged by the Space Administrator, all previously deleted pages cannot be restored and they will be lost forever. You might wonder what happens with the page version history when a page is deleted. The answer is straightforward. It is deleted with the page, but if the page is restored, its version history is restored as well. When the trash is purged and the page is permanently deleted, the version history is also gone. There are three scenarios for deleting a page. Deleting a page with no child pages, deleting a page with child pages, and deleting an unpublished page. We will cover all of them and let's start with the first one. I have this published page with no child pages. To delete it, I would go to the Page Actions dropdown and select the Delete command from there. I'm given a warning message with a summary of consequences due to page deletion. For example, the number of broken links. When I'm OK with all warnings, I will click OK and the page will be deleted. Let's work through the scenario when a page has a child page. Here is another page I will delete, but this one has a child page. Again, I will open the Page Actions dropdown and select Delete. I will get a similar warning screen to the one when I deleted the previous page, but now it also includes a warning that the deleted page's parent page will adopt child pages. I will hit OK and the current page is deleted and the child page moved up one level. The last scenario is the deletion of a page that was never published. In this case, I actually have to request a delete command while in the edit mode since the page that has never been published does not have view mode. This is how it works. I will create a new page and I will change the title and then I will go to Page Actions and select Delete Unpublished Page option. And the page has been deleted. At the beginning of this video, I did mention that a deleted page can be restored by the site administrator until the site trash is purged. Let's have a look at how that works for the pages I deleted so far. I will go to the Space Settings section, and then I will navigate to the Content Tools tab. Just underneath it is another tab set, and I will go to Trash. Here are the pages that I deleted moments ago, and click on the Restore will put the page back in the same spot that it was deleted from. I will go back to my site, and the page is back where it used to be. However, if I go back to my site's Trash section and click on the Purge All command, all pages that happen to be the trash at the moment will be gone forever. You should now know how to delete any page. The main point to remember is to be very cautious about deleting pages, even though there is a way to restore them. 